I guess my advice to parents would be to try to make it as much fun for the child as possible and to give the child as much of a peer uh, group as possible because the trouble with uh, show business at an early age is that you get, uh, if you're not careful, very precocious, you get to mix with older people and you don't have a, a good relationships of, of your own age. Now you weren't able to really mix with a lot of children. Was well, no, my mother was pretty good about it. She, she, I, I to this day have uh, a couple of friends for sure that I made at that age that I, I'm still very friendly with. But that's the general danger, yeah. Okay. Is it possible to be a great mother, a great wife, and a great <laughs> actress at the same time? You bet. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's terribly hard. You have to work at it. very. If you, you're going to even attempt to be any good at any of those things and to make them all work at the same time, it is difficult. And uh, there are some days when I think I'm not making it at all. And then I, my kids do something so wonderful, and I think, well, maybe we're doing it all right after all. As a wife, is Blake easy to be married to? He, he's not, I, I, I guess easy is not the right word. He's uh, wonderful to be married to. He's certainly never boring. He's the most interesting man I ever met. And life is always very stimulating. Have you two ever written anything together? Or did you write this, the new movie, any uh, parts of this? No, I didn't. Um, we did a screenplay together of a book that I wrote, a children's book that I wrote, mm -hmm. um, which we one day do hope to get done. I, it's such an ambitious project, I don't know if it ever will get done. But, uh, but we did that together, and that was wonderful. I learned so much from him about how to write a screenplay. Well, one reason I asked that, I saw some parts of your life uh, in this movie in that you also had analysis, and you were scared of crowds, maybe, and had some of the problems that David Fowler had. Mm -hmm. And uh, did he get the idea from that, or that just was, had nothing to do with it? Uh, I think he probably uh, was just very stimulated by the idea of what would make this man tick. Mm -hmm. And of course, Blake, too, has, has had a great deal of analysis. Uh, so I, I think he, he went into it in depth uh, from an analytical point of view. Uh, I guess that you know, any body of work has overtones of the person that wrote mm -hmm. it. And I guess it does in our case. Uh, you've been around and had some very important people and different kinds of people uh, responsible with your career and a part of your career. And some real quick uh, reflections on some of these people, uh, short ones. Walt Disney. Uh, a man with the most amazing talent for, for picking the nicest people around him. Richard Burton. Such a wonderful actor that I would sometimes find myself uh, standing and watching him rather than, than acting with him. Rex Harrison. Uh, the same applies to him too. Uh, his sense of timing, of comedy timing was so, um, well of timing was so sensational. Uh, if, if the audience for, for instance coughed on a line he would almost be able to anticipate that and, and rephrase the line or, 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 or uh, say the line around it so that the audience got it anyway which is an incredible sense of, of reading where the audience is. Dudley Moore. Simply adorable. I mean, uh, everything you've ever heard about mm -hmm. him and seen about him is true. He's lovely. Leonard Nimoy cannot escape Mr. Spock, mm -hmm. so he's gone back to Mr. Spock. Sean Connery has tried to get away of James Bond. He went back to James Bond. Mm -hmm. uh, Julie Andrews has tried to get away from the I'm G. I'm not going back to Mary Poppins. Right. Is that what you're asking? <laughs> well, I was going to maybe say that you tried to get away very hard from the G-rated Julie. And I've tried this on cab drivers and a number of people say, what do you want me to ask Julie Andrews? And it's not so much they want to ask, that they just liked your original characters. And I know you outgrow those characters, but would you ever do those type of characters again, or you just really refuse to do that? I think the answer basically is that I'm an actress, and a good role is a good role. And if a wonderful role came by that required a certain kind of quality, I probably would say yes. Uh, and the same applies to other roles, too. The, the thing that happens is that uh, you get bracketed or you, you become most well known for the thing that was the most successful. And so if something like The Sound of Music, which happens to have a very wholesome mm -hmm. image, uh, makes you successful, that's what people remember you for. If you think of someone like um, Clark Gable, you mostly think of Gone with the Wind, but he did a great body of work that was wonderful also. Um, also, the other side of it is that I, I've always tried to do other things that were different, but it ties into that thing of what's most successful is what people most remember. Okay. And I was asked to ask you this. They say, Julie Andrews never ages. <laughs> I mean, they just said she refuses to age. Uh, do you have any beauty secrets uh, that you could pass along, or are there secrets? I get an awful lot of help from my friends. I mean, I have a wonderful makeup man and, and, and uh, that kind of thing. I guess one of my 
it's, it's no secret. Uh, I exercise every day, and uh, I do try to kind of make a certain kind of good eating a way of life. And I also drink, uh, wherever I go, I drink bottled water, uh, which uh, is, a, is a crazy beauty secret. But for me, it, it works in that you should stick to one kind of water wherever you are. And I do so much traveling. Mm -hmm. And in the old days, I would go from LA to New York to London. And I would have you know spots all over the place because the water in each town is different. Mm -hmm. So somehow, bottled water kept, helped keep my skin more pure. Do you still collect Benny Goodman albums? You bet. <laughs> uh, Finally, what do you see in your future next few years? Are you going to be more of a mother, more of an actress, more of a wife, or do you continue to do all? I think all of, all of above, yes, all of same, if possible. I'd like to keep working because it's, it uh, helps keep me young, helps keep me, uh, my mind uh, perhaps a little bit more agile than it would be. Uh, but I certainly uh, so enjoy being Blake's wife and, and mum to the kids. It's hard to combine them all, but I hope I'll be able to.